I'm going to start off with a cookie known as Pfeffernus or pepper nuts in English. It's a very popular cookie in Europe, particularly in Germany and Netherlands, Denmark. Um, usually served around St. Nicholas Day, which is a little bit before our traditional Christmas. But it's a great little cookie. It's very spicy and I hope you enjoy it. We're going to give it a shot. Here I have two cups of flour and I've added to that a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now I'm going to add some spices to it. Three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth of a, te a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom, cardamom, a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice, and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground black pepper. That's going to give it a little punch. And we just mix that up. Now, in my mixing bowl, what I did already is on my stove in a small pot, I melted one quarter cup of butter and one third cup of molasses. I did that earlier because I wanted it to cool down to room temperature. So now to that I'm going to add one egg and one quarter cup of light brown sugar. And I'm going to mix this up on my mixer. Then I'm going to add in the flour mixture. So that's mixed up. Add half of the flour. other half of the flour. It's easier if I just take it off the mixture. I'm just going to use a spatula and get it all out. And then when I finish mixing this, this mixture will have to go into the refrigerator for about one hour to chill. in it, it would. This is a very cute little cookie. They come out to be little small ones and I usually take them and put them a whole bunch of them in a bowl like you put in small candies and then people kind of mill about and grab one and you know they take it and they're talking and then all of a sudden you see them they're going back for more. It's just one of those simple little addictive cookies. Now, I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap, put it back in the refrigerator for an hour, and then we'll come back and proceed with the cookie. Our pepper nut dough has been in the refrigerator for actually two hours while we were doing other things. What I've done now is I've taken it out, I broke it in half, and then I divided each half into six pieces. So I have like 12 pieces. I'm trying to keep them as even as possible. And now I'm going to take a piece and start by rolling it out into a rope. I'll put a little bit of flour. I don't want too much flour on the board. We'll wait and see how much we need. Just give it a start there. You want it to be, you know, cold, but not so cold you can't roll it. And I want to take each piece and bring it out to, oh, an 8 or 10 inch rope. 
looks like it's cracking, stop and give it a good pinch. Make it go back to being smooth. Got my little handy dandy here. This is about eight and a half. That's about right. Now we're going to take the, each roll and we're going to cut them into small pieces. Put them on an ungreased or unlined baking sheet. And you just put them about a half an inch apart. They, they kind of swell up a little bit, but not a lot. I'm going to keep on going with all my dough until they're all done, and then I'll put them in the oven. So this is our last piece of dough, and once you get into a rhythm, it just goes fast. You don't even have to measure the length of the rope, you just kind of know the thickness after the first two. And you can see makes a lot of pieces. Trim off that end, that'll look the way it looks. Now, my oven is on at 350 degrees. I'm gonna put these in for about eight to 10 minutes until they get just a little brown around the edges. And then I'll show you how to store them. We have our pepper nuts, which I told you I put in little candy dishes and you just leave them around the house. If you're going to keep them at room temperature, you can put them in a little sealed container like this for about a week. Um, if after a few days they look like they're getting hard, you put in a slice of apple and that will make them soften up again. So I hope you like our cookies and I hope you try them. Happy holidays to you.